Sakalobra. It's certainly a tough old climb, but honestly, I believe that anyone can do Sakalobra. So today, I've got two friends out here in Mallorca who are more on the beginner side of cycling, and uh, well, we're gonna go do Sakalobra. We're gonna be leaving from here, Porta Poyenza, and we're gonna be going to Sakalobra. So the way that we're gonna be going is gonna go past Poyenza, we're gonna be going through Campanets, and then up Sabatalia, which is another amazing climb. The reason I'm choosing to do it this way is because Sabatalia is a, a shallower gradient, so it should save the guy's legs before they get up to Sacalobra. And, uh, well, it just means on the way back, we're going to go down Colder Firmina, and, well, it's practically like 20, 25 kilometers all the way downhill, all the way back here to Porto Poyensis. Longest ride, ooh, 54 miles. What's that, about 90k? London to Brighton. That's the Badger. I don't know how big it was, but I think Sacalabra is going to be a bit more, my friend. Yeah, what, like 1.9k? <laughs> yeah, and your boy didn't make the whole way. <laughs> uh, it's got to be Ditchling Beacon. Ditchling Beacon Yeah, as well, yeah. which is a, a monster, it's but lovely. it's, I guess, relatively short yeah. compared. Yeah, so, yeah, it's the, it's the longevity I'm worried about, to be fair. I'm apprehensive, but do you know what? I'm excited to be out here. The weather's incredible, so let's go. Mate, we'll, we'll try our best, eh? We'll try our best. Are you nervous? A little bit, yeah. Um, I've not cycled that much this year uh, compared to what I normally like to do. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, it's going to be a challenge, definitely. But we've got uh, three of us to pull us up, so it's going to be good. Well, it's time to get going. And of course, the first thing, we got to get over there. So the goal is to make sure that we just nurse the guys properly. We're going easy enough for them so they don't build any lactate in their legs. We're going to stop every 30 minutes. I'm going to make sure that they're eating because you're going to need carbs by the time you get to Sacalobra. So let's get rolling and we'll see how we're feeling. Stop number one, just getting some fuel in. Pretty easy so far. Yeah, That's yeah. 35 minutes in. We're rolling with the punches, man. It's good, it's good. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. We'll just keep rolling. First hill yet to come. All right, guys, we've got eight kilometers uphill, but it's a really lovely one, this one, so just enjoy the hell out of it. Let's go. Doing well, man. How are you feeling? This is good. There's a little burn, a little burn, but we're good. <laughs> You've had a steady pace and you haven't stopped at all, though. This is a marathon, not a sprint, right? Exactly. So we're halfway, I think, aren't we? A bit past now. We've got about 3k left up this climb. Well, everyone that knows this place, you know where we are. We're at the famous Repsol garage. How did you find it, guys? Was it hard? Oh, followed you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good, really good. Legs are uh, okay, so we're good. It's one of the most beautiful climbs in the world, I think. Oh, it was so. stunning. Absolutely you, magic. You enjoy it the whole way, right? Yeah, it's just a steady pace. You can just really buckle in, can't you? 100%, yeah. It's just uh, enjoy that. It's just the incline's the same the whole way. Yeah. And it's just nice. Constantly want to stop off and take pictures. It's so <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like. So, guys, first climb done. Now we need to make our way over the top to Sakalobra. I haven't actually told these guys yet because I think it might be a little bit funny and also a little bit mean this way that uh, when you go up Sacalobra, when you go down it, it's only one way back up. So they're going to experience the down before they go back up on this one. I'll let them know at the bottom. Just in the short side of Colder Reese here, the boys are doing well. They just, uh, they just need to keep the legs going, keep the blood pumping, heart rate high and uh, make sure they keep breathing. Yeah, check out how, how high you've come, man. There's the archways down there. 600 meters, boy. Yeah. I'll highlight on the video so they can see the archways, just how high you've come. Yeah, zoom in on that. We're getting towards midday now, and uh, well, as you can probably tell by the cars coming past, it's getting a little bit busier, which I'm hoping it's not like peak summer. We're at the end of September here. 
So hopefully there's still, uh, still space to move and less coaches and stuff, but we'll see. It's good going down here, doesn't it? Oh, this is unbelievable. Just the views are amazing. It's like going uphill, but the opposite. And it's much easier, much easier. <laughs> They're having a great time, so uh, I wonder when I break the news to them. There we are, guys, made it down to the bottom. How was that, chaps? Did you like the way down? Voyable. The descent yeah. was great. Would you, uh, would you do it again? Oh, yes. I'd do that all day long, to, to go honest. To go down there again, I would go up. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd have to. Yeah. I think uh, the, the down was longer than the up, was it not? Um, so, lucky for you guys, you do get to do it again. Ah. There's only one way in and then one way out. I, I didn't mean it. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, I see. Wait, we have... Is that... Oh, hang on. Is that... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah, that's Sakalo that's Sakalo that's Sakalobra. You bastard! You Where's the local taxi? <laughs> oh, there's, there's a reason you didn't tell us that. There's a reason. I didn't Do you know tell what? You. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's so worth it. It's magnificent, right? The climb starts now. Nine and a half k, seven percent. Let's go. We'll get the boys up here. Well, the guys have spent a bit long sitting down at the bottom here, so. We're leaving in the heat of the day, about 13 degrees at the moment, but that's fine. They'll make it still, we'll just keep the pace slow. I predict it's gonna take roughly an hour to an hour and 15 for them, so that's fine. So it might take one or two breaks as we go up, but I think they'll manage it just fine. Okay, so we're at the start of the climb now. So Jason, tell me, what's the best game plan here? We've got 10 Ks of constant climbing. What my, what's my strategy here? Am I out of the seat, in the seat? Am I putting the power down? How am I going to get through this, man? So if I was going to say how to do it, I'd say definitely undercook it to begin with. So you want to go out with the legs feeling good for most of the time. Um, I would stay in the saddle until the last like two or three K where the hairpins start to come around because that's where the gradient gets a little bit steeper. So really, you're kind of going up the climb, saving yourself for those last two K the whole time. Okay. You've obviously done a lot of climbing to get to this point, Arthur. How uh? How are the legs feeling at the moment? Well, the rest help. Yeah. Um, and now we're on the incline again, and they kill him already. <laughs> we're yeah. okay. We're okay. Yeah, one k in, eight and a half to go. You'll make it though. Don't give me the numbers, brother. Just, <laughs> I'm just looking forward. The guys are doing well. They're still chatting, which is a very good sign. I might keep them chatting. Out of ten guys, how would you describe the effort level? Six, six and a half, okay, cool. That's good, we'll try and keep it there for now. When I'm looking at scenery or having a chat, I'm not thinking about the power of what you need, it's easier. Yeah, so we'll keep doing that, shall we? Yeah, don't let yourself think too much, otherwise you just want to relax yeah. and you're like, oh. Just had this guy with a quick saddle problem, so uh, gives you to a quick rest, and it's in the shade as well, eh? Yes. When he's done though, we gotta get going. Intended then it all works out well. Yeah. More like sack it off, bruh. You don't want this. <laughs> Go to the beach or something. Four and a half K in and the suffering has begun. How's this feeling compared to Ditchling Beacon right now? Less steep. Yeah, less steep, much longer, more consistent thigh effort. Yeah. yeah. You can kind of settle in a little bit more. Ditchling's like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and it's a bit hotter at the moment as well, it's to be fair. It's a bit moist, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. My sun cream's sweating out of me. <laughs> Arthur's struggling a wee bit here, but in all fairness to him, he has got flats on, so he doesn't really have that pull up, so he's always using his quads 24 seven and uh, doesn't have much access to that full rotation, which I find makes some of these longer climbs a bit easier. 
Give me a rating after out of 10. How hard is it at the moment? We've, we've gone up to seven, but I think it's the longevity and the duration and the constant kind of pedaling than the, than the incline, you know? <laughs> what about you, Luke? You said your legs are feeling quite good today, haven't you? Yeah, I've surprised myself a bit. Um, it's feeling all right, you know? I'm more worried about getting sunburned, to be honest. <laughs> Give me some updates, mate. It's a seven bit K in. Yeah, it's seven K in. We're just on a relentless uphill battle at this point, right? So I think I'm doing okay. This is a new PB, eh? Yeah. That's good. So yeah, just focusing on the road, but not, you know, not getting distracted and luxury and sitting down <laughs> thinking about the uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. All right, Arthur, these hairpins are the hardest bit. Once you're through this, it's plain sailing all the way to the top. Plain sailing, okay, okay. Just by the loop now, final 500 meters. We're just having like the teeniest of breaks and then uh, we're just gonna finish it off and head home from there. Well done, mate. You've made it, made it. all the way back to the top. You were squish, man. <laughs> I'm proud of you, dude. It's good fun, man. It's good fun. That is really, really hard. I mean, it's a, it's a long climb. It's tough. But you've done good, mate. Yeah. Not ridden anything like this, man. I'm yeah. looking forward to the little ride down there. By far biggest climb you've ever done. The longest ride you've ever yeah. done. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's go get ice cream, shall we? Let's go, baby. All right, chaps, whilst we sit here with uh, ice creams and ice lollies, give me a debrief. How, how did you find it? Solid work. Solid work, yeah. Hard day's work labouring in the field. Well, at the bottom, it started going up, and then it sort of didn't stop for an hour. But you know what? I'm so chuffed we did it. Um, you know, it was a slow pace, but we just, just a grind. We did it, we all stayed together. It was nice. It was really, really good, man. Yeah, my, my, my thighs are screaming a bit, but they'll be thanking me tomorrow. So I just have to nurse the guys home now. Just uh, the little draggy bits going up towards the, the reptile gar garage towards Sabataya. And then get to Firminia, a few more draggy bits, and then downhill all the way home. Arthur's done very well up until now, but uh, he's quite tired. The legs are very tired. Um, his shoulders are quite sore and uh, so is his butt. And you would expect that, you know, not very, not trained for being on the bike for how long now? Four hours and 40 minutes, so that's to be expected. But no, very proud of him. We just need to nurse him back to the downhill now. Gentlemen, great work today. I'm proud of you. Deserved. Deserved. 